Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Anu Joshi and I'm a real estate broker based in Toronto in the GTA. On today's video, I'm going to be discussing with you the April statistics from the TREP MLS. The GTA housing market continued its adjustment to higher borrowing costs with the number of transactions down on a monthly and annual basis. So when we talk about month over month, it's last month to this month, March to April 2022. And when we talk about annual basis, it's year to year. So comparing April 2021 to April 2022. As has been the case with previous rate tightening cycles, some home buyers have moved to the sidelines to determine how they'll be able to reposition themselves in the marketplace given the higher rate environment and related impact on affordability. GTA Realtors through TREP MLS reported 8,008 homes sold in April 2022, which was a 41.2% decrease compared to April 2021 and a 27% decrease compared to March 2022. So we've seen these month over month decreases continuously. Back in February, if you recall, um, the average price of TREB sales, the average price was 1.335. In March, it dipped slightly and, went, uh, it, and it went to 1.299. And in April, it dipped even further and the average price went to 1.254. On a year over year basis, if we look at it, the decline in sales was greater in the 905 area code, um, including uh, surrounding Toronto. So particularly for detached houses, detached homes are the ones that saw the biggest price drop. If we look at um, the average price of a detached home as of April, 2022, detached homes were priced at 1.628 million. Semi-detached homes priced at 1.259 million, townhouses priced at 1.019 million, and condo apartments priced at 789. Interestingly, the biggest shift that we saw uh, year over year was obviously in the number of units sold. So we saw uh, quite a significant slowdown um, in April in terms of sales. At the beginning of March and at the beginning of April, we saw that the Bank of Canada did two rate hikes, um, which was expected and announced. Everyone sort of saw it coming, but yes, it did impact the volume of sales for sure. Um, number of sales in April, 2021 were over 13,000. And this April, we only saw about 8,000, which was down 41.2%. So that was the biggest hit. And I think that that is completely attributable to the current, uh, you know, the current climate in terms of the rates going up, the Bank of Canada raising their rate and announcing that they're probably going to do it again um, several times this year. And then banks, you know, matching their variable rates and fixed rates to that trend. So they're all trending upwards. Now, as I mentioned before, uh, Bank of Canada rate hikes, if they're small enough, like a quarter percent or a half percent, it's not really going to impact a lot of people in terms of their affordability because they're still being stress tested at the new mortgage uh, for a new mortgage at the rate of 5.25%. However, uh, if we continue down this very slippery slope of continuous um, increases to the Bank of Canada overnight rate, and then banks are matching that, right, by raising their variable rate, raising their fixed rates, um, we are gonna see that it's gonna start impacting people. And we've seen a lot of buyers sort of push off to the sidelines, sort of see where it goes, uh, you know, reevaluate, does this make sense for us? Can we afford this? What if the Bank of Canada raises the rate further, right? What's that going to look like for us, which is a worthwhile discussion. Um, so if you have any questions about real estate in the GTA in Toronto or any of the surrounding cities, let me know um, if you want to get a mortgage consult as well to see where you guys stand um, and do a monthly breakdown of costs. You know, this house, how much is it going to cost me? Irrespective of the crazy prices that we have in the GTA, uh, we really have to break it down on a month to month basis and say, you know, this is what it's going to cost me month over month. Does it make sense for me to enter the market right now? So if you want to do a free consult, um, a first consult is always free. You can book by uh, checking out the link below in the description. Or if you go to my YouTube homepage or find me on Instagram, you can book a free consult through my website. Uh, we'll meet virtually and I will, uh, I'll help you out with that. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. And once again, thank you so much for watching my video. Please give it a thumbs up and share this video with anyone that you uh, 
think might be interested in the real estate market, um, even if they're not interested in buying or selling, if they want to know what's going on, right? Every homeowner, um, every potential homeowner wants to know what is happening in the GTA real estate market. So share this video with them. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button and also subscribe because I do post uh, videos about Toronto real estate, about GTA real estate, stats, housing policy, and all that jazz. Thank you once again for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.